Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the split screen feature of your iPad to take notes on the prepare Google slideshows for the sections that we're gonna learn in Math 126. And then at the same time on your iPad, you're gonna open up one of the note templates and take notes as you view the slideshow. So you can do everything on one screen with your iPad. So there's going to be two apps that you want to have open because it's a split screen. So the first app you want to have open is your Canvas student account. Now, since I'm a teacher, my icon looks slightly different. My icon says Canvas teacher, but you'll go to your Canvas student account, and then you will find our class for Math 126 for the fall. So I have to scroll down because I have lots of classes here. You probably don't have as many as I do, but I'm going to open up our Math 126 class. Now, let's say tomorrow we're learning about Section 5.1. That means before you come to class, you have to complete the prepare and preview activities for Section 5.1. So what you want to do is you want to go into the modules, and if it's Section 5.1, that means you want the module for Chapter 5, and here's our module for chapter five. And then let's just say we're learning section 5.1. So you wanna be prepared to learn more about section 5.1, adding and subtracting polynomials the next day in class. So we're going to click on the 5.1 prepare link. And you'll notice you have some options here in the 5.1 prepare link for your notes. I have a meaningful notes template that you can use. I have a generic Cornell note-taking template you can use, or you can also just open up a blank note-taking template of your choice in your Notability app once we do the split screen. Um, but first, let's make sure that we know where to access the slideshow, and literally all you have to do is scroll down a little bit, and there is the slideshow. So we can see the slideshow has four objectives, determine the degree of polynomials, add and subtract, whoops, I didn't mean to adjust the, the um, slideshow there. We have add and subtract polynomials, we have evaluate a polynomial function, and we have add and subtract polynomial functions. So as you go through the slideshow, you're going to be previewing and learning about these four objectives and giving yourself some baseline knowledge before we actually meet in class. And then when we meet in class, we can dig really deeper into the concepts. We can ask questions. We can practice more challenging examples. So by the time you leave class, you really have a great understanding of the concepts in that lesson. Okay, so let's say you wanna use the meaningful notes template. Like I said, you can use other templates as well, but I'm just gonna, for this um, video, use the meaningful notes template. So as you're going through the slideshow, you want to be able to take some meaningful notes. So I'm going to click on the meaningful notes template. Now you have to do two things. The first thing you have to do is download the template to your Google Drive. And then once it's there, you upload it into Notability. So you download it once so that you have it on your iPad or in your Google Drive, and then you upload it to Notability so you can annotate. So now that I've downloaded it, now I'm going to um, use the square with the arrow pointing up in the top right-hand corner, and I'm going to upload it. Now it's gonna ask me where I want to upload. I wanna upload it to Notability. So I'm going to create a new note and I've already created a subject or a folder for my Math 126. So I want to choose my Math 126 folder and I wanna change the note title. So I'm gonna open up my keyboard and I wanna change the note title to prepare and I wanna make sure I know this is for section 5.1 or you could name it with whatever you wanna name it, um, but I'm just going to choose that name so that when I file it in my Notability app, I know exactly what the notes are from. Okay, so now I'm going to import this. So now this is in Notability, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my, um, I'm gonna say done, and I'm back to my canvas where I see the Google Slideshow. Now I'm going to up at the top, click the three dots to start using Split View. And then I now need to open up Notability so I can get Notability on the other side of my screen. So you can see I'm in my Math 126 folder. There is the note I created and it was for section 5.1. So now what I'm able to do is I'm able to use all those wonderful pen tools and annotation tools we learned about in a previous video and I can start taking notes on my template as I go through the slideshow. 
Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to choose the pen that I want to use. I'm just going to stick with black for right now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through the slideshow. And as I go through the slideshow, I can make notes on my meaningful notes template. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to slide that down a little bit. So my um, toolbar isn't covering up. So now on the left hand side of my screen, I can advance through the slides. So we can see my first objective is I'm going to learn how to determine the degree of polynomials. So I can advance through the slide and I'm learning about some vocabulary. I'm getting some examples of monomials. And so all I'm doing now is I'm just tapping on the slideshow um, to see what's coming up next as I interact with the slideshow. So this vocabulary monomial might be something that I want to add in the circle for vocabulary to remember. Um, I might wanna add some vocabulary about examples of polynomials and um, monomial, binomial, trinomial. So we can see there's a lot of vocabulary in this section. Um, so these are things that I would be adding to these thought bubbles at the top of my notes. And then there's just some hints as I advance through the slides. And you can see that we're, we're learning why it's called a trinomial. We're learning about degree. We're learning about all kinds of things that have to do with our polynomials, okay? So we can see that we're learning about the degree and so on. All right, so first of all, let's, I'm just gonna go through this a little bit quickly. When you are the student, you'd be going through it a little bit slower to make sure you're engaging with the content. But I'm gonna get to another example so I can show my work. Oh, here's one with a video. So let's say we also wanted to watch a video while we are taking notes. Let's take a look at two examples of adding and subtracting polynomials. Notice the first example we're adding polynomials. When we're adding polynomials, we can just eliminate the parentheses and then combine like terms. But if it's helpful, we could think of putting a one here and a one here and then distributing a positive one. But we know if we multiply something by a positive one, it's not going to change anything. So we would have two x to the fifth, so I'm gonna pause that video, but what I want you to see is that as I was watching the video, I was copying the example in the space for worked examples. And then as I continue to watch the video, I, on the right side of my screen, am going to solve the um, example on my own as I'm watching the video. So that's giving me the practice that I need to be ready to dig deeper into the content the next day and to give me some preliminary knowledge about what it is that we are learning. So I'm going to go ahead and finish solving this. So first I have 2x to the fifth plus negative 11x to the fifth. So that's going to give me negative 9x to the fifth. And this is where these highlighting tools come in really handy. Then I have negative 6x cubed. Now, when I look in the second polynomial, I notice there is no x cubed term, so there's nothing to combine with. So I'm just going to write minus 6x cubed. Let's grab another highlighter tool, and let's say I want a different color. Ooh, look at all these colors I can choose from. Let's choose that teal kind of color. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the negative 12x squared, and that will combine with the positive 2x squared. So that becomes minus 10x squared. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, I have a x term by itself, this plus 8x, because in the first set of parentheses, there's no other x term. So I'm going to write down plus 8x. And then you can see at the very end, my constants, the minus 4 and the plus 6, are going to get combined, and negative 4 plus 6 gives me plus two. So then I've got my final answer here that I can circle to make sure that I have the final answer. Now, as you scroll down in the notes template, there's a place to include any hints or special steps to help you remember or to write any questions that you wanna make sure you remember to answer during class. And then there's more space for you to do your worked examples on the right. So you can go ahead and make all your annotations and all your notes for your worked examples. And then on the left, in the left-hand column, as you're doing your worked examples, this kind of models the Cornell style of notes. Um, you can write down any questions you want to make sure you ask tomorrow in class. You can draw attention to anything that you had a question about in the worked example. 
and you can continue to scroll through the template and take notes on your wonderful iPad. And then at the end, just kind of rate how confident you are. Um, it doesn't matter where you are in this range. It's just to give you a self-awareness so that when you come to class tomorrow, you know exactly what you want to make sure you focus on in class to get the most out of our time together. And then there's some space to summarize any key points as kind of a wrap up to your note taking section session. And then when you do the preview assignment in more, here's space to do the five worked examples. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you to show you all the wonderful ways you can use your iPad. Um, oh, really quick, let me show you how to save this. Okay, so when you're done making all your annotations, so I'm going to get out of split screen. Actually, no, I don't need to get out of split screen. I'm just going to go back to my Notability app is where I am now, but I can get out of split screen. Let's go to full screen. Um, let's get out of Canvas. Let's go to Notability. Here I am. So now I'm in my Math 126 um, folder, and you can see there was the note that I just annotated. So now when I'm in class, I can go back and refer to it. Or when I take the daily warm up quiz, I have my notes right there with me to help me on the quiz. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, we're going to continue to explore more wonderful ways to use the iPad during.